And welcome to this tutorial where we cover the new features introduced in the set of my extension pack for update 12. This update mainly focuses on the material ID from selection group tool. And as before, we've got the selection groups here and we've got our material ID from selection groups tool, which will allow you to bake a clown map. So here I have my bake clown map from the select selection groups. As a new feature, you can now rebake your selection groups with the existing IDs. So if I tick on use previous ID, you can see I'm getting exactly the same colors as on the first bake. So if you've added new faces or new objects to selection groups, you can easily update your ID map. And you can see nothing has changed in this case. You can also now set your own custom ID colors. So for example, I have these two Chrome items and I want them to have a shared ID color. So I'm gonna click on the set ID color override and pick a color. And you can see now they both have this color and the use ID color override checkbox has been automatically turned on because I use this. So if I bake now, you can see these two items both have the red color. The ID color override can also be set directly in the selection group palette. So for example, if I select this group and then set custom ID color, I can pick and choose my own ID color. I can also clear an override, obviously. So for example, now I have an override and if I clear it, it's gone again. The interface now also remembers things between sessions. So for example, if I set a custom resolution or a custom um, ID name, let's call this material ID channel. The next time I open the tool, you can see these settings are maintained. 